is a, a companion piece of two plays that uh, we're very excited about. Um, it is a Shaw Festival. The work of George Bernard Shaw is something uh, that is always fueling uh, to theater artists because of the excellence of its language, the extraordinary nature of its wit, uh, the compelling uh, moral questions that it raises, uh, and all at the same time with an incredible sense of theater and, and dramatic action. Uh, while the two plays we're doing in our 2009 Shaw Festival, both of them are not written, oddly enough, by George Bernard Shaw. One of them is written by Harley Granville Barker, a playwright who you may or may not have heard of. Uh, he's most known for his masterwork, The Voisey Inheritance, which I think was done recently at Baltimore Center Stage, if uh, you had the opportunity to see it. His other great play, though, is a play called Waste, it's a play I have wanted to do for many, many years, and I'm delighted that this year I'll have the opportunity to direct it myself here at Olney. Uh, Granville Barker's association with Shaw is uh, interesting because he actually was the principal stage director of most of the world premiere productions of George Bernard Shaw's uh, early 20th century work. So to have Shaw's director writing um, a, a play in uh, a style and a manner that is clearly simpatico with uh, Shaw's own style, uh, it makes it an interesting uh, companion piece to an actual George Bernard Shaw play. To talk a little bit more uh, about Waste, it is uh, really been considered a, a modern uh, tragedy in the sense that it deals with a, a British political figure on the rise, on the ascendancy, who as a result of being discovered in a personal indiscretion has his career totally collapse. Uh, this politician uh, is widely respected as uh, someone who is going to do great things for the future of uh, British society. He has wide support from a number of different places and because of the fallout from an act of personal indiscretion, which I won't reveal here, uh, his entire political universe collapses. To me, this play is a quintessential Washington uh, play. We know something about this story uh, because we live it uh, periodically, uh, albeit uh, in uh, television newscasts and in newspapers, but we do understand something about the waste of greatness as a result of personal imperfection. This play goes back to the earliest days in uh, modern society where the media plays a role in how uh, great men and women can fall as a result of how their stories are told, manipulated, uh, um, talked about, reflected, refracted to a point where a tragedy can occur. Uh, I'm very excited about this play and its production and uh, I can recommend it to you, uh, particularly those of you who had a strong response to plays like Ibsen's Enemy of the People of a few seasons ago or uh, last year's production of Michael Frayn's Democracy. This is a play that will uh, speak to you uh, and uh, we're, we're proud to be producing it. Along with that, uh, in the Shaw Festival is an actual George Bernard Shaw comedy, uh, The Millionaires, uh, uh, a late Shaw play, not often produced, wonderful characters, wonderful story, uh, filled with all kinds of Shavian wit, Shavian characterizations, uh, and uh, a, a wonderful uh, story that draws you into, uh, yet again, one of Shaw's interesting uh, moral arguments that he always presents in such a, an incredible way. Uh, the festival will be directed um, jointly. Uh, I will be doing the Harley Granville Barker Waste and Jack Going will be directing The Millionaires. Uh, recently plays like Doubt, uh, The Heiress, The Constant Wife, which have done extremely well and are certainly of the stylistic ilk of The Millionaires. You will find Jack as a strong leader at the helm that play.